Thank you, Madam Vice President, for the trust you put in me, but maybe more so, thank you for bringing back the joy. And I want all of you to hold this, and don't ever underestimate the power of this. She does it all with a sense of joy. This leader, this compassionate, careful, joyous leader, believes in each and every one of you. And if Kamala and Tim don't win, that's going to be your world. That's going to be your world, whether it's reproductive freedom, the freedom to love who you want to love, marry who you want to marry, because that's all in the Dobbs decision. It's in the fine print, in a concurring opinion. I'm a lawyer. I read this stuff. Justice Thomas said, what else can we go after that, was, that Roe v. Wade was based on? This right to privacy, this right to live the way you want to live, be who you want to be experience life the way you want to experience it. Read what you want to read. All that's at risk. And you keep hearing about this Project 2025. That's, that's what this is, too. This is an extremist viewpoint that very few people in this country want. But this is what they're trying to shove down the throats of young people like yourselves and the rest of us. And we don't want it. So in 57 days, we can do something about it. And you are on the front lines of doing something about it in a state, as your governor just said, we win North Carolina, we very likely win this election. So you young people right here on your computers, on your phones, knocking doors, sending out the messages, you literally can have an impact on how your future is going to be. Right? Yeah. I know. Yeah. It's heavy. But guess what? Um, I, my motto is, I just stay mad all the time because I was naturally a lawyer, but I channel that staying mad into positive energy, right? And that's what I want you all to do. You should be mad at what they're trying to do to you. You should be out there marching in the streets each and every day what they're trying to do to this country. You should be pissed off. So take that anger, get out there, and let us help, help us win North Carolina so we can have my wife, Kamala Harris, and her husband, Tim Walls, as the next president and vice president of the United States. Now let's make some calls.